Good afternoon. Miss Joe is checking in with you. It's March 18th, which is a Wednesday, and I've been digging in the yard. So I wanted to take you guys along real fast and show you what I've been doing. Um, these are some volunteer strawberry plants from last year. I'm just bringing it closer to the house. Um, inside of this bed here these containers had chard and perpetual spinach you see still some here um and the sage though they didn't do very well in these pots so i went in and i separated them and i found out why and i'll show you in a few minutes why nobody did so well so i left a few still there and in here was a pot and it had lavender in it it wind up having three plants so i divided the plants here they are one two three okay so that's the lavender from last year the chives that were here in this pot have started to wake up this is red Russian kale. I've been protecting it all winter inside of this mesh. I did put worm castings on the top layer of the bed. Here I started potatoes from store bought. Just two different kinds that I had. I think one is a russet, but I'm not sure what the other one is. It was from Kroger, and it had eyes on it already, so I, I, I went ahead and potted those. So we'll see what we get. And there's two and one and three in this one. So we'll see how many potatoes we get. And all the winter sowing containers that have sprouts in them. You can see that. That's broccoli rob. And this is um, baby bok choy. And sugar snap peas. Alfalfa. Um, more peas. You see those and onion and kale. I don't know if you can see it, but let's see. Okay, you can kind of see it. Kale, red romaine, um, I don't really see anybody in that one. Look like it's some beets in here. The Kiaga beets. And then lettuce. Now let me tell you something. Last year, I did numbers. See? And I used a paint marker. And those numbers are still here. Okay? I use this year a Sharpie, extreme weather Sharpie that's supposed to be fade resistant. As you can see, that is not true. I thought it would be easier this year than doing the numbers since I have so many containers to put what was on them instead of having a big list like I did before only because I have so many containers but I did put additional labels inside of the containers so hopefully they'll hold up until it's time to reveal everybody so back to our summer then we have some basil and some Brussels was it Brussels in here yeah it's Brussels sprouts in here yep more beets 
Kel seems to be the one that's busting up, but you know, uh, Basil surprised me. It's kind of starting to um, pop up as well. And here are the lilac um, clippings that I took off of the bush. I did it two ways. I took seeds and then I took clippings from the bush itself and put them in some soil. I have been in the back um, still composting. Time's still looking good. Hello, time. I got time for that. Composting in place. Here. That's another lavender I'm going to wind up uh, propagating. I'm going to take a quick little walk in the mushy land, although I don't have my right shoes on. See, and I put the compost bins that I had before here. Um, tilted out the dirt or the soil and put cardboard on top of it so all of my goodies wouldn't leach out. And I do have cardboard underneath these as well to smother out the weeds from last year and the snow on the mountain, which is uh, edging that they had here when I'm, we moved here. But it's very, very prolific and it took over everything. So since I'm growing food back here, we need to get rid of that. And then here is another composting in place bin. It has some kitchen scraps and coffee grounds in there. I'm hoping to feed this as it's breaking breaking down because there are two of this flowering bush in here. So Hopefully that'll help. What is that? Somebody netting. Some netting that came over here. Hmm. I have to, you see it? I'll go back and get it later. Um. So that's the ground back here. And then let me show you all of the, that ground too mushy over there. I don't like that. Yucky. Uh, all of the charred plants and perpetual spinach okay so this is some more rare brush and kill that was inside of that white um, pot that I showed you this was a kale that was in there as well curly kale the only one that I have left from last year everybody ate them and they were the ones that were in the ground Another red Russian kale, and then these are the charred and perpetual spinach that I took out of that white container. I'm gonna have to water these in because it said it's supposed to rain, so I'll wait. I was gonna wait on the rain, but you know, Michigan, it may or may not rain. So, and then this, this was the pot that the lavender plants were in. And I'll show you. See how big they were? See, that's another lavender. But I needed to break those up because there's no way in this world that they needed to be in the, in this little pot by them all together. So we're going to practice some social distancing, distancing for these plants as well. Um, and I see a fly so and because I see all of my bulbs poking up out the ground I think these are irises So we're slowly still getting ready for spring. 
because Michigan is not going to be on time with the spring. But we're, um, the cold hardy plants are ready to go. They're ready to rock and roll. And I'm still um, getting everything else together. So thanks for checking in with me. This is Joe. Hope everyone is doing well. Be safe. And I'll talk to you later. Let's get growing.